Hi there, it's Ashling Mooney and you're very welcome. This is your angel message for this week. Now it's the 29th of July, so we're moving into August, August in the middle of the week. And I've done a full reading for the month of August, which is really, really juicy. So watch out for that and be coming out on the first. And um, I can tell you now that August is a month for focusing on one or two projects and just moving through with like intensity to get something completed. It's going to be magical. Manifest one dream that you've been thinking of for years. So I'm really excited about August. So anyway, for this last, we have a few more days left in July. I had a reading there last week for um, the, from the 22nd, but today is from the 29th of July for the next seven days. So my darlings, an opportunity will be offered to you. So you might be thinking about something. It says scholarships or the pursuit of education and time to get to work. So it might be that, um, that you're thinking about, like sometimes around this time of year or coming to the end of the summer, people are already thinking of what they're going to do in September. You know, after the holidays, when the kids go back to school, what, what, are, what are you going to focus on? And the angel is saying, this is a really good idea to be thinking of this now. And it's a good idea to move forward on those plans of whatever for their education. I'm a lifelong learner, so never stop learning, never stop taking courses and programs and learning with teachers and mentors and coaches. So um, whatever you've been thinking about, whoever you've been thinking of, or maybe you're just thinking, who will I work with next, you know, in whatever field it is, um, like your particular spiritual business is, or your career is, or health wise it could be to do with your health right i'm going to go and study yoga or i'm going to go and study nutrition or i'm going to study parenting or whatever it is but there's something that you've been thinking about studying it could be coaching it could be becoming an angel coach it could be a dream interpretation i don't know or a soma is coming through as well it could be correct color therapy it could be learning about angels i don't know um, or it could be more academic that you're actually going back to university or college to study and get a diploma, certificate or degree. The angels are saying, great idea. You're on track. It is time for you, in particular, if you haven't been studying for a long time. Um, the angels are saying that it's time for you to get back because the energy and the effort that you put into um, this educational project um, will bring rewards for, for you and for uh, the world and for the world, you know, your community, your family. You know, when I went back and studied um, a few years ago and I got a, my degree in adult education and training, it was a big moment for me and it has continued to um, impact my work and my confidence and um, the way I, I teach and the way I talk and the way I communicate and the way I help my clients. So it's learning. Once you learn the stuff, it never goes away. So I would encourage you that whatever you're thinking of, I'd love to hear that in the comments, what you've been dreaming about, what you've been thinking about. This is a nudge to go for it. Go for it. It's your responsibility. Go for it. So beginning of the week, Monday, Tuesday, lots of activity, lots of ideas, lots of... Um, inspiration, phone calls, uh, things to do, a big to-do list. So, and it might be also a lot of inner activity, so a lot of spiritual activity. So, you know, it can affect your sleep when there's a lot of downloads going on or uh, the, the, the astrologically the, the, the sky and the planets can affect us. And it can be, a period, if, if, so, it feels like the first part of the week, there's going to be outer activity and inner activity. And the inner activity is an important downloads that you need to, to integrate for your spiritual work on this planet. So with that in mind, be kind to yourself. Take plenty of rests. Drink loads of water. Do your meditation. Up your practice. If you've been doing 30 minutes, do it twice a day. Um, and your practice might be meditation. It might be getting out for a walk in nature with the dog. It might be um, eating really mindfully and healthily. 
um, whatever your spiritual practice is for you, whatever that looks like, whatever spiritual health and well-being looks for you, you need to up your practice. Um, isn't Gandhi famous for quoting, when he looked at it, it an extremely busy schedule, he said, oh my God, I'm going to have to meditate twice as much, twice as much today to get through that. So a fly going around here. So, um, yeah, we need to just make time, lots of activity. So you need to just up your practice and really mind yourself. Um, and that brings us right into the middle of the week, which is it's important to have balance. So we got this last week. We were, to, we were reminded about meditation and that, you know, all of the answers are within you and that you just have to take the time to reconnect with your spirit and your guides. And um, you're being reminded again that, you know, we can take on, no is a beautiful word. <laughs> no is a beautiful word to practice. And I need to practice. Um, but it's a beautiful word to have in your vocabulary and to use it before you use anything else, which is usually, yes, of course, no problem. No, just no, 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 no. No, I'll get back to you. No, I'll see. No, I'm not sure right now. Um, no, I don't think I can do that. I'll have to come back. So there's, there's a, an opportunity for you to just take a step back and think, okay, what can I set, say no to? What can I delete off my list? Because as I said, August is going to be a big month for you to complete one of your dream projects. And, you know, we all have the same amount of hours in the day, but if you allow other people to continuously take and drain your energy and your time, you don't get that back. You don't get that back for your projects, for your life purpose, for your things that are important to you in your life. So the only way you're gonna get that time to complete the projects that are important to you is if you learn to say, no, 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 no. So, my advice is just really practice this word. I know that you're going to get at least one, if not 20 opportunities this week to practice. No. Okay. Oh, a bit of noise there. <laughs> My dog's getting excited. There's a car. There's a... The dog doesn't like... Um, I think it's a motorbike. He doesn't like motorbikes. Okay. So the weekend, we have um, the moon. Haniel. My God. You just couldn't make this up. It's no again. It's no again. The opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your guidance for accurate guidance, listen to your intuition, face your fears and grow stronger. Okay, Archangel Haniel, in my Transforming Angels course, I'll post a link for that down below if you're interested and you want to go deeper with the angels. Archangel Haniel is traditionally seen as moon goddess, graceful, beautiful, and she is all those things. She is all those things. But when I connect in with Haniel and the way I teach about Haniel, she is a warrior. She is a warrior goddess. And her favorite word is no. She is all about healthy boundaries. She is all about, um, you know, motorbikes and uh, getting out there. I, she is the, the, the warrior, the goddess warrior. She is powerful and uh, her favorite words no. So you are going, this, this whole week is an opportunity for you to learn no. So I'm going to call in Haniel right now to be with us for this week because she is so powerful, this angel. And especially when you're coming up with a situation where you've said yes for so long that people are taking you for granted and now it's time for you to say no. Haniel is giving you the, oh, can you hear the motorbike in the background? giving you the power to say no this week to anything that's not for your highest good and anything that's not serving you so we have a wonderful week ahead i would love to hear your comments i'd love to hear that how this is resonating and um, if this is your first time watching me please click subscribe make sure you're on my email list so you get notifications of these weekly messages and make sure to check out on wednesday the 1st of August, the, uh, the, uh, the, the article card reading for the month of August, and you get an, an idea of what's coming. So all my love, have a great week, and talk to you soon. Bye.